This is my preview for Power Book 3, Raising Canaan, Episode 10, the season finale, paid in full. It's Smack the Guru. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Click that like button. Now, this last episode should give us everything that our soul desires. I'm expecting a lot to happen. Now, the biggest thing got to be Howard. If Howard dies, if Howard survives. I either way, I think Kanan going to figure out that's his daddy. And this going to be the first big riff between him and Ra, his mama. This going to be the first big time. They done had, you know, riffs and um, disagreements and arguments. But this one going to be the one that's going to really hurt the heart. Like, yo, you sent me to shoot my dad. Really? And he wasn't there to cause no direct harm to him. Now, he do want, don't get it twisted. Howard definitely want that treatment, you know. But he wasn't trying to cause no direct harm. But Ra is like, okay, I could kill two birds in one stone. I could move Unique out the way and Howard. Kanan ain't never got to know about that. That's how she looking at it. And her master plan is, ain't gonna come through this ain't gonna work it's gonna work with on unique side but as far as the Howard thing and Kanan never knowing that yo this is true daddy that ain't gonna work that ain't gonna fly I could see it going a bunch of ways whether Kanan learning after the fact or if Howard survive I could actually see him asking for them to bring him there you know and him letting them know at the hospital or something like that. Or Kanan finding out at the hospital. I can actually see Howard getting this um, help for the leukemia. I can see Kanan helping him out with the transfer, the bone marrow. I can see him helping him out. If he figure out, oh, man, I shot my dad for no reason. You know, he want a, a bone marrow transfer. I can see that. I can see that them writing it in because Kanan, this ain't the same Kanan that knocked off his son that we knew from the first power. He ain't there yet, you know. Still a good kid. He just trying to get off into a game that he really don't got to be in. But he a good kid right now. He ain't seen as, this ain't the guy that killed his cousin, Juke. He ain't there yet, right? But what we going to see is what's going to get him there, you know. So, I can see him helping him out or him finding out and this being one of the things that make him even more um, evil. He didn't call some bodies already in this, right? Whether it was, you know, indirect with him making the bad work or him killing old buddy at the beginning. So he didn't call some bodies, but this would be one that would hit the heart. Like, dang, my mama didn't send me to do this now in the trailer in the the actual trailer how i know ra was on this plan to take out unique and howard is because after she cleaning up canaan and trying to keep him safe from the cops and all that you hear her say in the trailer this will be the first night of the rest of their life and she's saying that because she like i didn't move these pieces out the way Oh, we about to move forward with our life. Everything going to be good now. We're going to be able to get our product. I ain't got to worry about this cop snooping around, trying to get close to you. This going to be great. But I just don't see her plan working. It could be like on some cliffhanger stuff where um, Kane and find out at the very end. And then we go into season two and we see how their relationship ain't the same. I don't think it's going to deteriorate all the way where it's like, oh, I hate my mama now. No. But it's going to be some tension. It ain't going to, you know, just be 100 like it was in season one. Now, the other thing that we see in the trailer is Unique on wartime, which he should be. They done shot up Unique. He had his uh, kid with him. And Marvin was on some just take them all the way out stuff. Like, the way they circled around and hit the car, like, crazy amount of time. Like, yeah, they tried to 
take him out. Didn't care about the kid or nothing. So unique on wartime. But this something I don't think gonna work out either. We probably do see some bodies drop. Most likely on unique side. This uh episode two. I can see that happening. More people dying. Not nobody that's super, super relevant, but just like people dying where they going to um you know kill uh marvin or lulu or something or even Ra. you know something happening to people i can see that happening but you need going to jail man like they show a, a quick glimpse of it in the trailer but you need going to jail <laughs> it's leading up to that this is what they doing this was her plan that's why they stole the jacket the big plan to steal the jacket was to set them up send them to jail that's why the game's so dirty, because people can't, if they can't kill you, right, then they just like, all right, we'll set them up, move them out the way. Hell, that's the same thing Ghost did with uh, Kanan. Like, yeah, just move them out the way, you know. And this is if they can't kill you for whatever reason. Maybe you're too strong, or maybe they, they kind of mess with you, and they don't want to kill you. That's how I think Ghost and Kanan's situation was. He ain't want to kill them, so he's like, yo. I move them out the way like this, it'll all work out, you know. So that's that be their options when they want to move people out the way if they can't kill them. Like, all right, send them to jail. So that's how Rod going to do unique. We actually see Marvin sneaking into somewhere. That's probably to return the jacket. Now, this mission that Marvin doing is most likely a mission that Rod would typically have Lulu do. But Lulu still kind of out of commission because he didn't got burnt all up so she didn't send marvin that's probably why in the trailer lulu is saying yo what are you doing he talking to Ra. he's like yo what are you doing it's because he didn't learn out about some crazy plan she got and he like yo this is a crazy plan you know you sending marvin somewhere that's probably why he he said it like yo you sent him off in somewhere, or he didn't learned out he didn't learned about uh, Howard getting hit. One of those what is is most likely gonna be, but man this um, season finale should be dope. Um, I probably do a, a recap of the whole season what I thought of everything because I think they did a good job. You know I like uh, Fifty Cent coming in and talking um on the first episode when he was doing it i'm like yo this could go real bad if he's talking a lot throughout the season i'm like yo is 50 talking a lot like every little second throughout the i'm like this could go bad but this has been pulled off before you know i think 50 didn't did this before where he narrated through it um everybody hate chris chris rock was narrating through it and it was dope so I knew it could be done, but you just got to pick your spots. I like that element of it. And it was a lot of stuff that I liked about it. Um, but I'm going to go through it all, the good, the bad, all of it, for the whole season. Um, and it wasn't a lot of bad. I think it's a good show. Power Book 3, a good show. i probably going to evaluate Power Book 3 and Power Book 2, which one I like um, more. You know, so... Um, Look out for that, man. It should be coming. But going to be a dope season for Dally, man. It's Mac the Guru. BMF going to be starting soon. So I'm definitely reviewing those. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And as always, y'all be easy, be safe. Peace.